Hello, Keith Rucker here at VintageMachinery.org. Guys, uh, finishing up a little project here today. This is a table saw arbor that I am working on for one of my viewers, uh, making a brand new one for him with an enlarged flange. Now, if you haven't already, uh, I did a couple of videos showing the turning process on this. Uh, those have already been posted up on the site. Today, we're gonna be finishing it up over here on the milling machine, and I got two operations that still need to be done. One is cutting flats on here for a wrench, and the other is putting a Woodruff key in. Let's zoom in here and show you what we got to do. So this is the original arbor here and uh, you can see we've made a new one with a larger flange. Everything else is pretty much identical. Now here are the flats across here. I've measured those. A one inch wrench will fit over those. Uh, so we need to cut the two flats on there symmetrically from one another. And here's the key for the Woodruff key. And that is a uh, I think three sixteenths inch wide three quarter inch diameter uh, Woodruff key slot. Both of those are going to be done over here on the milling machine. To cut the flats, where I have two flats that are opposite of one another and also symmetrical as far as distances and stuff, I'm going to use a 5C collet block here. Uh, this one here is a square block. Uh, you can buy these in a set, one square, one's hex, and they're really handy for milling uh, operations on where you have a shaft. Uh, for example, you could use the hex ones to mill a hex head bolt on a piece of uh, round steel. In this case, uh, I'm gonna use the square one. I've got a 5C collet in here. That's a 17 millimeter collet, which matches the diameter there of my shaft. I'm gonna go tighten that up. But when I put this in here, I can take it over to the mill now. I can come in, make a cut, take this out, flip it over 180 degrees, put it back in the mill, and everything's still set up exactly so that uh, we can come in there and get those two flats across from one another. So let me go tighten this up and we'll go ahead and get those cut. This round section here is one inch, 175 thousandths. I need to take it down to one inch. So the difference there is of course 175 thousandths and I just divide that in half because I want to take uh, half of it off each side and that is a uh, 87 and a half thousandths off each side that I need to take off. So I think what I'm gonna do is actually do this in two passes. I'll make one cut, probably about, uh, we'll just do 40 thousandths, which is about half of that depth. I'm gonna take it out, get another measurement, and then we will uh, uh, make two more cuts to get it to the final depth or thickness or whatever you wanna call it there. So let me go ahead, I'm just gonna drop this down, get a rough zero right there. Like I said, since we're gonna be making this in two passes, can easily uh, uh, get a good measurement there. I'll just use my digital readout. I'm gonna raise the table up, 40 thou. And we'll cut across there. Stop the spindle. We'll take the part out, flip it over 180 degrees, put it back in. I'm just lining this uh, block up on that back jaw. I'm just doing it by feel. Uh, let's come in here and make another cut. Gonna measure across these flats now. And we are at basically one inch 92 thousandths. So let me uh, figure up what half of 92 thousandths is. All right, so I'm, I measured this again. It's just, a, it's about five thousandths under one inch. Let's just give clearance for the wrench. And so we're gonna start with point uh, nine, nine, five inches, we'll subtract out what we had there, divide that by two, I got 48 and a half thou, so I'm gonna do 48 thou more on each side, and I think we'll be, be right where we need to be. So let me uh, 
Raise my table up a little bit more. Right there, it's 42 more thou. Flip it over again. All right, let's measure across these flats here. And right on the money. Maybe just a thou under, but that's gonna be fine. A wrench will fit right up on that. All right, so we go take this out of the collet block and we will be ready to cut our Woodruff key. So here's the original shaft again. You can see the Woodruff key slot and Woodruff key just fits up in there. It's just a key that will hold something in place. I'm not sure what goes there. And to cut this, what I've got is a Woodruff key cutter. Now this particular cutter is a 3 16 inch thick and it's a three quarter inch diameter. And uh, I've got my cutter here. What I need to do though is I need to get it set up. I got a line here. I've already kind of got it in the where I want it on the shaft compared to the other one. But what I got to do is get it to the proper uh, position on the shaft, which is halfway down. And uh, I'm going to start, I'm just going to take a piece of paper and uh, we're going to put this up in between here and I'm just going to drop it down. I'm not putting any pressure on there. That just kind of gives me a touch off point. And now I can come off of that. Now I know that this piece of paper is three thousandths of an inch thick because I measured it. Um, so First thing I need to do is compensate for that. So I'm just gonna raise my table up three thousandths of an inch and that will get the uh, cutter basically flush with the top of it. There we go, three thou right there. Now, as far as how far down to move this, I need to move it half of the diameter of my shaft. My shaft is 17 millimeters. I've converted that over to thousandths of an inch because that's what I'm working in. That's what my machine set up for, for measurements. Uh, 17 millimeters equals 0 0.6692 thousandths of an inch. I want to do half of that, so that's 0 0.3346. So basically 334 thousandths. So I, if I drop this down 334 thousandths, I will basically have the bottom of the cutter on the center of the shaft. I want to get this centered up on there as well. I know this is 3 sixteenths of an inch thick, which is 0.187 and a half thousandths. I take again half of that. I add that to the 0.3346 measurement that I had a minute ago. So basically half of the shaft diameter plus half of the cutter diameter, I need to raise the table up 428 thousandths and I should be right on center. And here we go, 428 thousandths. That's 100, 200, 300, 428, right there. So now my cutter should be right center on the shaft and I'm eyeballing down it and it looks like we are right there at it. All right, now the next thing we've got to do is figure out how deep we need to cut this. And for that, I cheated. I just looked over in my machinery's handbook and there is a section in there on Woodruff key cutters and it will tell you for each size cutter how far how much of a depth you need to cut. And in this case, I need to go 217 thousandths. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and start the mill up. I'm gonna bring the 
table toward the cutter until I just touch off, which is right there. I got my digital readout zeroed out, and we're gonna go in 217 thousandths, put a little cutting oil in there. So, um, Because of it sticking out as far as it is, I'm getting a little bit of a chatter, but it's not going to hurt anything, I don't think. I'm just carefully and slowly setting that out. hundred thousand feet. Two hundred thousand feet and seventeen. Seventeen right there. And with that. I think we have this uh, part all finished up here. Got the um, shaft completely done. Keyways installed. I did measure that across the shaft. It, it equals exactly uh, the depth of the other one. So I think we're good there. My nuts fit good on both ends. Uh, I do have a different nut that's gonna go in here. This is actually off of a smaller table saw. I don't have it handy right this minute, but it's a little bit larger diameter nut that will fit up on to that. Uh, shaft, but uh, you kind of get an idea of what we're looking at here. Anyway, I think we're done. So there we go. Our middle machine work is done. This project is finished. I'm going to get it packed up and headed back up to Canada so that uh, he can put it back in his table saw. And hopefully this is going to be just a trick. Fun little project. Um, a lot of turning involved in this to get it done. Uh, a lot of, a lot of precision uh, diameters I had to hit right on the money on that metric shaft running it in, in inches but uh anyway a lot of fun things here hope it works out for you well and uh, with that guys that's gonna be a wrap as always thanks for watching please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and uh, those thumbs up and comments are appreciated as well and with that guys we will catch you on the next video